Hello, dear students. How are you? Are you ready to get started today? Yes, thank you. In the last two lessons, we learned how to use attributes to define two-dimensional shapes, like rectangle, um, square, triangle, yes, and circle. Our lesson today, how to use attributes to define three-dimensional shapes, not two, three-dimensional shapes. Actually, there are a lot of three-dimensional shapes you are familiar with. We have here, repeat with me, cube, cube, like box. Give me another example. Sphere, repeat, sphere, like, very good, ball. Cone, repeat with me. Cone, good, like. Party hat, awesome. Repeat with me. Rectangular prism. Rectangular prism. And give me an example from your room. Cylinder. Cylinder. All of these three dimensional shapes have some attributes help us to define them. These attributes are vertices. Vertices. Flat surfaces. Flat surfaces. Edges. Edges. Good. Now, I think you know what I mean by vertices. Look at the rectangular prism here. Look at the corner. Very good. We have one. We call it vertex two, three, four. I have more than four vertices. Yes, five, six, seven. And we have another one here corresponding to this vertex. So we have eight vertices in rectangular prism. Now, what I mean, what I mean, what did I mean by the, uh, flat surfaces? Look at we have a flat surface here. What is the shape of this flat surface? It is rectangle. Very good. It is rectangle. Now, what about edges? How many edges I have in rectangular prism? Edges mean straight sides. Look at the yellow color. We call this edge. And this. And this. And this. This. All of these straight sides, we call them edges. Did you understand? Now. Listen to this video, please, and answer the questions. How is a cylinder different from a cone? It's a good question. How is a cylinder different from a cone? A cylinder has two flat surfaces. A cone has only one. What is the shape of the flat surface on a cylinder or a cone? I think you can answer the question. 
What is the shape of the flat surface on a cylinder or a cone? Select your answer. What is it? It is? Very good, circle. The flat surface of each of these shapes is a circle. These shapes have edges and vertices. Their flat surfaces are called faces. How are the faces of a rectangular prism different from the flat surfaces of a cylinder? How are the faces of a rectangular prism different from the flat surfaces of a cylinder? Look at the shape of a flat surfaces. The shape of a flat surface in the cylinder and in rectangular prism and answer the question. What is the difference? Good. In the cylinder, we have... A rectangular prism's faces are rectangles. Good. A cylinder's flat surfaces are circles. Now, are you ready to solve the questions? To solve the exercises? Open your book, page 7, 778. Read the question. Write how many faces or flat surfaces and vertices each 3D shape has. Cone. Number of faces or flat surfaces. Remember how many one? We have only one flat surface. So, I will answer here. One. Number of vertices. We said that the highest point in the cone, we call it vertex. And I have only, good, only one. Very good. Only one vertex. So, answer here is... Now, number of edges. What? How many? Zero. Very good. There is no edges here. So, answer is zero. Very good. Move to the next page. Look at the sphere. Here we have ball. Number of faces or flat surfaces. Can you see any flat surface here? No, so answer is zero. Wow. So right here, zero. Now, can you see any vertex here in the pole? Of course, no. Answer is zero. What about the edges? Can you see any straight sides? So, answer is zero. Very good. What about the cube? Now, number of faces are flat. Surfaces. How many squares I have in the cube? Please hold any cube you have in your room. Now, count with me. How many squares do you have in the cube? Count with me. We have here one. One square, 
and we have another one corresponding to this face. So we have two start from here. Now we have a three and we have another one corresponding to it. Four. Now we have here five and here corresponding to it we have six. So answer is six. Now how many vertices I have here? Count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and I have another vertex here corresponding to this. So we have eight. So right here, eight. Now, number of edges, edges, how many? Count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine. We have here ten, and we have here corresponding to this straight sides eleven, and here we have twelve. So, answer is twelve. Now, last question, try it yourself, please. And thank you very much. This is our lesson today. And I hope I can see you soon. Thank you.